One, two, three. It's missing a leg. Hey y'all, it's Short and Stoned, but if you're new here, you can call me Kelly. I'm a Canada advocate, medical patient, and solventless foods entrepreneur. On today's episode, we are going to be doing the YouTube famous tattoo tour. Join me as I take you of a tour of my tattoos and I reveal the stories behind all the ink. Can I share the meaning of each and every one without getting too emotional? Let's find out. I'm excited to share this with you, but I want to address one thing. There are obviously some preconceived misconceptions about tattoos and people that get tattoos. Let's just get oh, one thing straight. These are my tattoos. They're on my body, not yours. And tattoos have no negative effect on that person's work ethic or morals. Quite frankly, some of the nicest people and best people I know are covered in tats. Yes, they are permanent, but yes, they are also a form of self-expression. And to me, they are a form of self-love. Every time I get a new tattoo, I fall in love with my body all over again. Each little piece of artwork is also like a time capsule, a memory of a time or a moment that is perfectly captured on my body forever. All right, let's take a derb. Got my Dr. Dabber Boost. And then we have some Mendo Breath Wax. All right, I'm loading up my product. I hope you're getting yours already too. I'm excited to do this with you guys. Like I love tattoos. There's a reason I have over two dozen and that's because I love them. I love the significance. I love the whole process. Cheers to that. Make sure to stay tuned till the end when I show you my favorite one and my most shocking. I don't even know if I can show it on camera. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to start with right here on my chest. I got this on my 21st birthday, Lover Loser. Some of you may recognize it. It is from It. Next, let's make my way down my arms. All right, I got this portrait of a black cat on Friday the 13th. It just is surrounded by some flowers and like a mandala effect behind it with some shading. But let's just move down my black and white arm. I got a lot. I have a rainbow here. This is just for being in college and coming out. This is a plane for Sully, Sully my cat. Bone for Bones, my other cat. I got these all in college. <laughs> and then I got a little bike that I got that for my dad. And we also love to bike ride together in Hilton Head. Then I have this mandala cool effect I kind of helped design. And then this is one of my first ones. I got wise men say only fools rush in. This is in my dad's handwriting, but it is also my mom and dad's first dance. And then underneath it, I got two roses and a mic because I'm into music and roses because I was 16 at the time. It's a little basic. Let's move over to my left arm. This is my first, first, first tattoo I got. This is a, a lighthouse. It is the lighthouse in Hilton Head. It is where we spread my Pop Pop's ashes. It's where we have all of our family reunions. I love Hilton Head. I have nothing but great memories there. And then next to it is my cousin Jake's initials and his birthday and when he passed. And that is right next to Pop Pop's tattoo because, you know, they're both in Hilton Head together, spending the rest of forever together. And then we have a whole lot more right here. I have a crown here. This is for New Year's Eve. Lewis the Child did the ball drop. It was amazing. Came solo to Colorado. But I just love Lewis the Child throughout all of college I still do now and they were just the soundtrack to so many great memories of my college career. I have a matching tattoo with my sister. She has both wings of the butterfly. I have half of the butterfly. I have an ohm symbol just because I write that in all of my journals. It seems all my manifestations have always come true and I've always written that symbol in my journal. So I was like, eh, going on my body. I have a seashell from when I was visiting the beach. And then I actually have like a cool beach geometric shape. I got this when I was in high school too. It's cause once I got my first one at 16 and I was working and I took college classes, helped me blend in a little better. And then I have this ladybug. It is for my grandma, but also for good luck. It's missing a leg. I didn't realize that 
till one night I'm sitting in bed baked and I'm like, one, two, three. It's missing a leg. I don't really care. I think that makes it look kind of unique. And then I have a Bible verse. I am not affiliated with the church or any religion. I did grow up in the church. I am thankful. The church family wouldn't change that. But I do have Romans 8.18. 18. Just the pain you've been feeling doesn't compare to the joy that is coming. That wraps up my arms. Oh, my shoulder. Oh, I love this one. This one I got in Florida at my cousin's anti-wedding. We all just went to the tattoo shop, got some tattoos. I got my aunt's moon is incorporated into it. And then my cousin's son is also incorporated into it. So I thought it was dope. I just wanted some universe and some cool stuff on my back and some planets in there. But I also wanted to incorporate, since we were on a family trip, I wanted to incorporate them into it. And I think it worked out phenomenal. All right, let's move on to my legs. All right, I'll patch in here. I have 111 and 999 on my knees. It's my birthday, my lucky numbers, and it's also angel numbers. So that's a triple meaning. I also have one of my favorites, probably a top. I get a lot of compliments on it in summertime. It's my mushroom lady. Look at her beautiful purple gills. Oh, she's so full of psilocybin. I love her, she's so pretty, I love her. Oh, she's an icon, she's a legend, she is the moment. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Yes. Now come on now. So the 111999 is just above my knees. The mushroom lady is on my left calf facing the outside kind of like halfway up and then let's do one on the outside of my right calf this is Mew from pokemon obviously she was my favorite when i was a kid and when i moved to denver i had to find a new artist here and hailstorm in denver colorado had these amazing tattoos that seemed to heal and inspire your inner child and at that time that's exactly what i was doing healing my inner child guess what my therapist canceled she posted on her story and i got it bada bing bada boom ink therapy all right let's move on to my favorite it's not quite on the hip bone a little lower kind of like top 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 mid thigh this doesn't get seen too much depends on the rave outfit how skimpy the rave outfit is but this is my favorite it's popcorn but you know popcorn the type of nugs yeah that's right this was done by my go-to artist in philly on one of my birthdays and oh my god i love it i love it i love the speckling i love the vintage popcorn bag i love the colors the purple in it the perp it's perfect i love it i love it i love it i love it and the dots kind of tie in with the mew there's like colorful dots in the background of that too so i feel like that just kind of like ties together on that leg all right let's go with my most shocking this is a pink Cadillac and I will insert but a close up photo and I cannot show this on YouTube because I don't want to get banned and I don't promote that kind of content but I'll let you use your imagination as to where this is. This was when I was taking college classes as a high schooler and yeah. I'll just leave it at that. Let me know in the comments below, what's your favorite tattoo that you have? I wanna get to know you guys a little bit more. Tell me, tell me I'd love to hear about your ink and if it has a cool story. But let's count, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So I'm just over two dozen. Notable mentions. I love my arms. I love how jam-packed my arms are. My arms really tell a story of working with tattoo designers. Notable mentions, definitely my cat, my mushroom lady. Best one's definitely the popcorn. I love my Mew. I love the one on my back. I hope that you're able to get to know me a little bit more. I don't wanna just like throw content out here on the internet as I'm trying to establish myself as a YouTube creator. I want there to be some like transparency i want you to get to know me and i feel like sharing my tattoos is just such a fast way of doing so if you enjoyed this type of video make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more of me and if you made it to the end of this video comment tattoo make sure to check out my previous video where i shared taste testing a rosin flight and stay tuned for next week's where i get a little more educational and share the top 
anxiety relieving terpenes. I post videos every Thursday and Saturday, so I'll see you for real soon. Before I go, we obviously have to take one more. Cheers, guys. All right. If you didn't hear it today yet, I appreciate you.